everybody. This is Brian Gardner, Principal Developer Advocate at WP Engine. In today's video, I'm going to walk through how to build a team page with WordPress blocks and the Frost theme. Now, one key aspect of forging a solid digital connection with your audience is to showcase the folks who power your brand. That's where the value of a team page comes in. And I'm going to show you two different ways to build that with WordPress. Here we go. All right, so here's the first instance of the team page that we're going to build. This is a very simple page. We've got a heading, a paragraph, and then basically a, a set of four columns, each with a image, another heading, a paragraph, and a button. The second team page layout is a little bit more complex. Uh, we're gonna do, similarly, we're gonna use a heading and a paragraph to lead the page, and then we're gonna do uh, multiple instances of some columns inside of columns, and so we'll get a little bit uh, deeper into WordPress block building there. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new page. We're going to go for this look first. And I'm going to go ahead and call this my team. Uh, go down here. We're going to um, add a heading. Uh, we're going to make this the H1, and I'll explain in just a second. Uh, so we're going to just say team members. And we want to center this, and we want to make the font a little bit bigger. So we'll just say we're going to go to 60 pixels. Now, uh, the reason why I said we're going to call this an H1 is we're going to use a special template inside of the Frost theme. Uh, this template is called No Title. What this is, allows us to do is remove the, the default title from the output. That way we can do things like span wide width and full width. So we're going to go No Title. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to go here and just copy this text here. This is the paragraph text. And so we've got that. And in the spirit of putting things together, I always like to do things like group them. So I'm gonna group them because what we can do here is uh, do use block spacing to space in between. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, maybe we'll do 10 pixels. That might just give it a little bit of breathing room. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit publish and we'll take a look at the new page that we're building. And so there we go. Now you'll notice that all of this is uh, crammed up here at the top. And uh, the reason behind that is we're gonna um, wanna add some padding above and below things, but we'll go ahead and uh, before we do that, we'll go ahead and create the next section. So we're going to make four columns. So I'm gonna go back into here and I'm going to add the columns block. Uh, and there is no option to do four columns here. So usually I just pick three uh, and then you can, if you select down here in the bottom columns, you can always increase the columns. Now you notice that by default, the columns block uh, comes in at um, the, uh, the width of it is the content width. And so we want to make that actually a little bit bigger. So we're going to go wide width. You can see there it stretches it to the 1200 pixels. And so inside of each column, we're going to have an image. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this text so it's ready. We have, so we have an image, a heading, some paragraph, and a button. Uh, and so what I'll do here is I'm gonna add an image, which I already have loaded. And I'm gonna select there. We wanna do a heading. We're gonna call this member name. That looks a little big. We'll fix that in a minute. I'm gonna hit the paragraph. And then after that, we're going to <clears throat> add a button uh, and we'll just do something like view profile or something to that effect. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit update. We'll just take a quick peek to see um, how things look in comparison. Okay, so uh, first thing we want to do is we want to center all of the uh, content here. So I'm going to select this. Uh, we're going to go here. Uh, this feels a little too big to me, so I can go in and change the size. Uh, which I'll do either to 24, that looks pretty good. Uh, this text, this paragraph text, we want to align. Uh, and then this button, if you select the buttons, you can see here, uh, there's the option in the sidebar here to center them. So now things are looking a little bit better. Uh, go ahead and update and we can see how things look there. So we've got it centered. We've got some spacing issues here, which we'll address in a minute. And then this, um, this image feels a little too big to me in context. So we're gonna select that image and uh, we're going to just give it uh, 200 pixels. That'll sort of shrink it down in size, which will match uh, what we've got here. Now, you'll notice that all of the text in, or the spacing inside of here feels a lot more. And so what you could do is inside of the column block, so you've got the whole block selected. 
Uh, and if you go to the styles tab, you can mess with block spacing. And so this, what this does is it spaces all of the content, all the blocks inside of the item you have selected, which is the whole column. And so you can see here, I can zero it out. We don't want to do that. 20 pixels feels a little bit better. Uh, and so we'll do that. Uh, and then this text feels a little bit uh, line height. So I'm going to go and change that. By default, I believe frost is 1.75. Uh, this feels a little bit better. And then this button feels also too big in context. You can see here it's a little bit smaller. And uh, so what you can do is you're inside of the button block. You can go to the styles here and then you can mess with the um, the padding. And so maybe something like that or maybe something like that. So you've got uh, step spacing here. Uh, each one of these represents a different uh, size. And so if I go hit update, I'll go ahead and see how this looks. And you can see that when I did the image, we do not have a line center on the image, so I will fix that. And so things are looking a lot better. Uh, one thing I wanna do is uh, maybe add uh, a little less space between member name and the paragraph. So what I can do is I can select the paragraph here, go to dimensions, click on margin, click on top, and then maybe I wanna, instead of the 20, I wanna do 10, that'll make it feel a little bit better. And then similarly, uh, this member name, this heading, feels like it's a little too close to the image, so I can also uh, do top margin, and maybe in this case I want to do 30 pixels to give it a little bit more space. I go ahead and hit update, we'll see how things look, and that feels uh, a whole lot better. And so you can see here, uh, we've got this going on. Now one really great thing about the WordPress block editor now is the ability to duplicate things. So that's that was a little bit of work, uh, and so what we can do here is uh, take the column, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate that, and I'm going to do it so that I get all four of mine. Now you'll see what it's doing is adding these additional columns into the columns that existed already. Uh, and so these were the three empty columns, and you can just multi-select these, do this and hit delete, and then you've got your four columns. Now this is, uh, the viewport here is a little bit small, that's why they looked stacked. Uh, so I'm going to close this out, and we can see what's going on. I'm going to hit update, and then all of a sudden, there we go. So we've got some spacing issues, uh, as I mentioned. Uh, and so what I normally do on pages like this is just group everything. Um, so I'm going to take these two items, put them together into a group. Uh, and for the sake of uh, explanation, I'm going to make that a full width group. And so uh, what I'll also do here is uh, mess with the padding. I'm going to add 30 pixels here that uh, gives it a little bit of buffer when you're viewing mobile. And then I just added um, extra large, which in Frost case is 100 pixels top and bottom uh, for the whole group. And then uh, these columns feel too close to this text. So I'm going to select the columns block altogether. And I'm going to add uh, more top margin there. Maybe, maybe large, which is 80 pixels. So I'll go ahead and hit update. And you can see how things look. That feels a whole lot better. Maybe there's some spacing things here. Maybe this was a little bit too much here at the top. Uh, so I'll go ahead and change that and hit update. And there we go. Again, spacing is a little bit different uh, between the two, but at least we've uh, gotten that. Now, the reason I go full width, and this is um, going to be an illustration of how to do uh, some things like this. So for instance, maybe you wanted to have a background color that spans full width. That's why I always wrap everything in a group. So uh, if I hit update and then go to the page, you can see here now we've got all of this in uh, a background color. And so this allows you to do things like make this dark. Uh, that won't work really well with the, <laughs> the uh, images that we've got here. But uh, so for instance, if you wanted this all black and the text white, and up here, your header is dark also. Uh, that's a creative way to do something like that. Now, so that's the uh, the first version of the team member page. And we're going to go ahead and build this one, which is a little bit more complex. And so I will go and um, I'm going to copy this so I have it. I'm going to go add a new page. We'll call this my complex team. Oops. And so again, I'm gonna start with the group. I forgot to do that the last time. I usually start with the group. 
just go full width and then build everything inside of it. So uh, we have the, the heading, this is my team. Again, we centered that heading. We made it an H1 because we want that to be the, the main thing for search engines. We go into the template, we select no title. Uh, and then after that, we did the paragraph text. We also aligned that. Uh, and again, I think we made this 60 pixels. Um, now a shortcut to wrapping these two items in a group and adding block gap to change the spacing, you can just go directly to the paragraph itself uh, and go to margin and go to top. And that's what I'll do here. Uh, you can see um, do that. And I think I added 10 pixels, a little bit of spacing there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just publish this. And so we'll slide this over. Uh, so we're gonna do this in a, a unique way. I'm gonna build these top two into one set of columns and I'll explain why. So we're gonna go ahead and add the columns block. Uh, we're gonna have two columns and what we want those columns to do is span a wide width. Okay, so what we're looking at is this section here is one column, this section here is a second column. Now, here's where we're gonna get creative. Inside of this column, we're gonna actually add two more columns, which will be this one item here, image column one, and then this in column two. Uh, and so what I'm gonna do here is also add columns at 50%. Now, remember the first thing that we had here was the image, which is right here. Um, uh, member name, and I'm just gonna copy this text so that it's ready. So right here we had a heading, and below that we had text. Now, you can see here, there's not a lot of space between these two. Again, I'm gonna select the paragraph and margin, and we're gonna alter the top margin so it's not taking the default block gap, which is 30 pixels, and then this member name feels awfully big. I'm gonna reduce that, that awfully small. We'll do something like that, uh, and maybe we'll even reduce the, the size of this text. You could do that just to kinda help. That might be a little too much, but we'll just do a quick update and see how things look right now. Okay, so we're kind of getting there. Um, looks like we don't need to do this. Okay, so first things we're gonna do is we're gonna select this column here, the left-hand side, and we're gonna change the width of that column to 25%. That'll shrink that down, and then uh, I always go back and make sure the other column is set properly. So we're also at 75%. And inside of the columns, we want to vertic we want to vertically align this right or in, in the center so that this text isn't up at the top or at the bottom. And so if you select the columns block here, uh, you can change this to align middle and that will sort of center uh, vertically everything. So go ahead and hit update. We can see how things look. Uh, okay, so we're a whole lot better there. So we've got this and so uh, like I did the last time, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and duplicate this column. Uh, what that'll do is move it over, and we want to go ahead and delete that extra one that we had started with. And so go hit update, and you can see here now we've got these two side by side. Now there's different ways to do this. You could make two columns uh, and then just stack this uh, column one on top of another uh, I'm going to go ahead and just select this set of columns. We're going to duplicate it twice. Uh, and then there we go. So I'll go back to the original. Uh, oops. So what I didn't do is put this into the main group. So I'm going to move all of this into the main group uh, as I've done the last time. And we'll do something like this. Maybe 40 pixels, bottom padding, 80 pixels. And then left and right, 
we always like to do 30 pixels. So I'm just going to go ahead and change this really quickly on the group. This gives us uh, the spacing that we want. We'll take a look and see top to bottom. Uh, maybe we want to add more spacing to the top to that just to give it more spacing. Okay, so now we've got this, this team page, uh, which is pretty cool. You've got a link here, which could go off to uh, a member profile. Now I'm just gonna show you a few other unique uh, ways to handle team pages. Uh, if you wanna style them, the uh, WordPress image block has the ability to uh, do border radius. So if you wanted to just make these circles instead, you could do that easily by just, oh, that's adding a border, wrong setting. Uh, and so, we can do that. Now you can easily copy and paste. So if I click this image and come over here to that one and then just paste it, it'll bring the styles over. So if you're looking to shortcut, uh, you can do things like that. Uh, I'll go ahead and hit update, see how things look. So now we've got circles if we wanna do something like that. Uh, another way to do this would be to add some social icons into each of these sections. And so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shorten this. I'm a WordPress developer, read more so that we're uh, all on one line. And then after that, I'm going to add the social icons block. Uh, let's just say Twitter. I'm going to give that a fake link so that it's live. I'll just add two or three of them here, similar with LinkedIn. Maybe we'll do Instagram. So go ahead and hit update and we can see how this looks here. So if you're doing profiles like this, uh, obviously you can see here there's uh, some spacing issues. Uh, and so uh, by default, the block app is kicking in. So I'm gonna take this um, social icons block and I'm gonna zero out the margin. So margin top, maybe we'll just do zero or maybe 10 just to give it a little bit more space um, as well. See how things look. That looks a whole lot better. I will, uh, I'm gonna undo the border radius on this one just so we can kind of get a better feel for how this lays out. Uh, and, and then, yeah. So the social icons block, if you wanted to go sort of branded, there are different styles you can do here. Um, if you wanted to do an outline, you could uh, by default, it picks up the color of the text and so you can do that. You can reduce the size of them. Uh, I will update this and see how things look. Uh, and maybe you wanted to make them colorful. So we'll remove this. We'll do default. Maybe we'll do something like that. Hit update, we can see how that looks. Uh, maybe the spacing here is too much for you. Uh, and so what you could do is you can select the social icons group, block spacing exists. Maybe you want five pixels instead that puts them a little together, or maybe you want to just do zero. Uh, so you can go ahead and do that. That puts them a little bit closer together. And of course, there's different options as well. If you wanted to just do logos only, you can do that. Uh, you can change the icon color for the logos as well. Uh, we'll update that as well, do a quick refresh. Uh, and you can see there's lots of different ways you can customize this. And so this is a, a little bit more of a complex way to do a team page uh, as well as the first way we showed you. So using Frost in WordPress blocks, very easy to do this. Uh, you just you know can go in and replace somebody's uh, image when they have a, a, a you have a new team member. You can easily replace the text, copy the text, uh, the social media icons, and so on. And so again, we've got uh, two different ways to build team pages. And of course we could do some spacing things and some other, you know, really nifty design things as well. But uh, this should get you started and hopefully is helpful as you build out your website. If you have any other questions, feel free to follow me at Twitter, B Gardner, or you can read more about building with WordPress at wpengine.com slash builders. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.